this is Nikki and Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. And today I am going to do, I am going to unbox this Upcrate art uh, box, <laughs> art supplies box. I'm going to, I'm going to do an unboxing of it. We'll try out the supplies, see what they're like, and then I will go away and come back with a picture that I'm going to color using only the supplies in this box. So let's see what we've got to work with this month. This is November's box. There we go. Usually this so now we've got the box open. Let's take a look at what is inside. So this is what we can see. Message to myself. The sticker says have fun. And we've got some nice bright pink tissue paper there. Now we're putting the box to the side so that I can't see what's in there. Let's see. So let's get this open. Everything's inside it this time. Feels like. Just going to have a little feel underneath to see if there's anything like, oh yeah, there is. I've got all our, all our papers that come with this. We have the uh, battle post, which will tell us about our supplies. We've got a sticker sheet. And we've got a piece of art by someone who uses uh, the supplies in here. Now this looks like Looks like it might be pastels. And then we just have a something in German. <laughs> and here's our paper here. It will explain to us what kind of paper this is in our battle post. So we won't take a look at that yet. Keep this out as a supply. And let's go look at what we actually have in here. Okay. Get it open. There we go. Okay, so we've got a lot of a lot of sticky things in here. Ooh, okay. Uh, okay, well here's a bottle. Let's see what we've got. Studio La Lasco Natural Gray Middle. What 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 is it? Oh, it's acrylic color. Okay, so it's acrylic. Well, it doesn't say paint. It says acrylic color. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to need to find out a little bit about that. Okay, so there's another one. And this one is in buff titanium. Let's see. Must be paint. That's what I'm thinking anyways. Okay, I don't have another bottle. Um, let's go for the long thing. Okay, so here I have... <laughs> I don't know what I have. Okay, I'm not... I have no idea what this is. There's like a marker in here. And well, we're definitely going to have to find out about that. <laughs> it looks like there's another one. A black one. What the heck? Put them the same way. Okay, so far I don't know what anything is. <laughs> okay, well, here's something that's in a packaging. Precision cutter. Hmm, slice ceramic blade. Ah, I've seen people use this when I used to do um, mixed media. People use those. Okay, this is getting more and more interesting here. Okay, we got another. Okay, that's yellow. And another one, red. What the heck are these? Okay, I've got a 
stencil brush. I have a feeling this is going to be kind of hard. Oh, another one of these. Black. Okay, that's not very colorful. Have a look-see. And that is everything that's in here. So, I have no idea what these are. Where's the battle post? Yeah, this is the first time I've had to cut my art into pieces. Oh, this is going to be some kind of mixed media thing. Okay, so there's our picture of everything we got. Oh, it's making stencils. Well, I'm not going to make stencils. What are those things? Okay, so. Okay, acrylic paint. Looks like everybody got the same colors. White, black, and gray. Well, different shades of. Okay, so. There we go. All the colors that are available. Okay, there's the precision cutter. It's just like an X-Acto knife, except that it's a very tiny knife that you can't cut yourself with, and it, you can be really, really precise with it. It's good for fussy cutting. Okay, so more about that. Okay, what are these? And everybody got the same colors of these, too. Oh, these are blow pens. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you know, I was ju I just added to my uh, wish list that I want to get a marker sprayer, and these are blow pens. So uh, I don't know about making using my breath to blow these things. It's going to get tiring. Okay, so what do you do? Looks like you take it looks like you take this off and put it take the pen out put it all the way in here okay so then just the tip of it pokes through there and put this on the end and we blow. So let's see if anything happens. It might get my head in the picture here, so I'm trying not to. <laughs> okay, nothing's happening. What am I doing wrong? There's no hole in this. Okay. Okay, guys, I figured it out. I watched a video on YouTube on how to use a blow pen. And, as you can see, I blew some red there. So, what you do is, is you take off this part. Take, oh, just a minute, I've already put that one together. Here, let's do the yellow. So, you take off this part. Then you take out the pen. And you put it in here. And there's a little thing down there that makes it go all the way in properly. So now just the point is pressing out of there. And then you put this back on. Now my problem was is that I was blowing this thing that's sticking out here. You need to put your lips over the whole thing and blow through here. And the first blow is, is kind of, you have to blow kind of hard and nothing comes out and then it does. At least that's what happened there. Oh no, it comes out right away and you don't have to blow hard. Okay, I have an idea for this already, and um, I'm going to do it in a Kirby Rosanna's book. And my picture won't exactly be a finished page, because I don't have any, um, any pencils or pens or markers or anything to, like, actually... I, what I'm going to be doing is making a base. The, the thing to figure out is how to add the black, gray, and titanium into this. So I'll put this back on. And I will see you when I come back with my colored page to show you. 
Okay guys, I'm pretty excited about this one. This is this is the best thing I've made from an Upcrate box. Um, first of all though, the supplies given were for stencil making and I obviously did not do that. I used it to color in a coloring book. So the, the knife, which, oh here it is, yeah. Okay, so the slice knife I obviously didn't use, and I didn't use the stencil stamping tool either, so I couldn't use those. I used everything else except for the black uh, airbrush, or the black brush mark, airbrush, <laughs> the black airbrush, or blow brush, oh, whatever they're called. <laughs> so, what I did, let's show you the picture here. So I used the three blow pens. There we go. That's what they're called. I used the three blow pens. They were really easy to use. And it has um, really made me want to get an electric uh, airbrush for markers, which I had put on my wish list before this kit came. But I moved it over into my cart and I'm definitely going to get one. So what I did was I did the colors in kind of like a rainbow order so that they would mix and make different colors in between. So now that happened but just a little bit. We've got yellow goes into blue so we've got some green happening here. Then we've got blue goes into red so we've got some purple happening here and then red into yellow, which makes some orange here, and then yellow into blue, which again makes green. Then I used the three, <clears throat> the three colors of uh, acrylic paint to do a graduated sky. So I started off with the titanium buff, doing the first layer, and I also co colored in the, the clouds with the titanium buff. Now I had to do uh, several coats here to cover up the spray that had gotten into the clouds and or into this first level here. Then we moved on to the gray and I tried to blend them together but I just really do not know how to blend <laughs> acrylic paints so we've got a line here. And then I did the black at the top so it goes from light to dark as the farther away you get from the city, the light of the, of the city. So this is a, this is a base layer, which I'm going to work on using uh, pencils and or water-based markers. <clears throat> I'll be adding in shadows and coloring in bits and uh, whatever, you know. Uh, just kind of making it more into a picture than it is now because this is the base. But I'm really happy with it. I used the majority of the of the supplies. I, while I didn't use one of the blow pens, I did use the blow pens. I used the paint, but I didn't use the tools, let's say, that came for stenciling. So I feel really proud of this and uh, happy that I came, I guess th that's what I should have said. I feel really happy with how this came out and I hope you uh, I hope you like this one too. So thank you for watching this unboxing and s seeing my creation and I will see you next month when we'll see what we get for December. I hope we get some glitter. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Bye!